Hello and welcome back to Tesla News. My name is Marian and I'm your host today. Today's topic will be about how Tesla batteries and FSD microchips with graphene could, could change the entire EV market. So what is graphene? Graphene is a carbon consisting of a single layer of atoms. Atoms arranges in a two-dimensional honeycomb lattice. So when we look at graphene, um, it is um, a raw material that can, can get out of graphite. But there is also a second way to um, get graphene. It is in a chemical vapor deposition, so not using any natural graphite. So looking into the current situation, um, it is really important to think what this means for Tesla because you can use it in so many ways in a really, really amazing way um, that it's not about only cars, it is also about phones, computers, etc. And when looking at Tesla, what are the advantages of making a battery out of um, graphene? So looking into graphene, what this would mean for a battery um, produced by Tesla, if they would do that, it would have 50% more runtime compared to lithium. It would have a 25% drop in carbon, uh, carbon footprint and it would have around 50% less weight needed to provide the same output. So guys, don't forget, it is not about um, taking lithium uh, totally out of the entire battery. It could also be a mix of lithium and graphene. So when we look at graphene, um, of course, it is a really expensive material and um, almost the biggest um, um, sources to get and mine the graphite that is needed are in China. So these there are the biggest reserves. But what I do personally find really interesting is more the um, chemical way to do it as it is not even more expensive than mining. So. Um, looking into more advantages when it comes to a battery. When you have a battery like lithium battery, lithium iron is getting hot. There is always um, has always been the issue of fast charging and the issue of having batteries overheat. And this is the reason why um, graphene is so important because with graphene you have more charging um, cycles and of course as well the battery is not overheating. Furthermore, it can um, store the energy and electricity much better and you can push the battery even harder. So um, looking at products like the Tesla Semi or looking at products like the Tesla Roadster, it is really important to um, notice that when you have a Tesla Semi who is really pushing um, weight with it, um, it is really, really um, essential that the battery is not um, having such so much weight. And having a weight reduction of almost 50% is like, is like crazy. And I have mentioned that in a Tesla Semi video before, that it's really essential for Tesla to have batteries that have less weight, but the same, um, the same consumption or the, the same power behind it, so getting more efficient. And with graphene, it would be actually possible to do that. The only thing that still needs to be accomplished is building a battery perfectly working with graphene. So, um, looking into more charging cycles, you can push the battery harder. And the key thing here is as well fast charging. We know that Tesla is already having supercharger stations. They have with the new batteries the possibility to charge even faster. But when we look at graphene batteries, we would, we would have 300 miles in 10 minutes or even less. So this is really, really important. And when we go further and we look into the FSD and the microchips um, business, um, you can make a graphene microchips that are a hundred times smaller and at the same time they work even faster and better than current microchips. And when we have a FSD microchip that Tesla has established, it is for full self-driving so important that the speed of the microchip is really, really fast in um, conducting all the informations, getting all the informations that are out there 
and processing them as fast as possible because um, it's not only about the battery revolution that could happen, happen with graphene, it is also the revolution that could happen with the computers, with chips and anything like that. So just imagine you would have a microchip that is smaller than ever before and at the same time work around ten, a thousand times faster. There are experts out there that really say it could happen and there were recent researchers in um, Sussex in um, England in Manchester already a few years ago that really go into detail that when using graphene it could make the batteries so much better but at the same time not only batteries it is, could also make microchips um, as, as good as never before and when we look at what Tesla would like to achieve with full self-driving um, developing the robo taxi fleet. It is really really important for Tesla to have chips that are working so fast that they can really absorb all the information happening around. And I think this is something um, where the computer companies that are building computers they get to a certain limit right now with the chips that are out there and a current speed that is established. And the same for the um, phones. We do know a certain speed how phones can operate. But when you make a chip, a microchip for a phone that is um, having a small graphite, um, then you are really talking about speed. Of course, there is still a question out there who is currently developing such batteries and then Tesla might be already testing those. So if Tesla really works on a battery, that is also including graphene, then they would be so far more ahead of any kind of competition. But if I look into the data that we see from Tesla batteries right now out there, it is really like they are already on their way to do that. But they have not officially really said, okay, there is graphene inside. But right now, they are really pushing the lithium batteries to the maximum. I mean the maximum that is really possible. And I think if they would add and do further research in the area of graphene, which I'm really confident about that they know what graphene could be capable of, then I'm really bullish about um, the batteries that Tesla could produce, the reduction of weight, the re uh, reduction of um, carbon footprint, and of course the increase of runtime pushing the batteries to the limit and if you have been with the Tesla story for a long time there has been always the concern that lithium batteries uh, can explode or lithium batteries could overheat and if we look at products like the Tesla Roadster what kind of specs they have how fast they the Tesla Roadster is supposed to go and it's, if you look into the Tesla SEMA right now in the background, if you imagine how fast such a Tesla SEMA is accelerating the speed, there's so much power behind it and so much um, yeah, d intensity of electricity pushed through the batteries. It's so important to use a material that is um, making the batteries even more efficient. So I believe, guys, that we could see a revolution here in the next 10 years. I think it will still take some time. I personally do think that if they could make a production of graphene out of chemical vapor disposition and not from the raw material, they could also um, kind of solve the issue of having not a lot of raw materials like um, uh, cobalt etc in the world. So guys if you do enjoy my video do consider